Hi everyone, today I wanted to take you guys through and show you around the chickens and what breeds I have and talk more about them because so I've been requested to chat about them. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I have multiple Easter Eggers and this is what they look like. And they lay a light greeny egg. Um, it's, not, it's more blue than green, but it's like in between blue green eggs. Here's another one. I'm hoping this guy will be an olive egg right here. There's more. These ones right here and here, they um, are laying already, so I know what color they lay, but these ones are my teenage pullets, so they haven't started laying yet. This is a Rhode Island red. Um, I think that's an Issa brown, or it's one of like the cinnamon queens or I know it's a brown, uh, a really good brown eggling mix. Mostly I have Easter eggers. That is a Ancona, Ancona chicken. They lay white eggs. I have two of those. And then this one, I believe is a light Sussex chicken. It hasn't started laying yet, but I expect it to here soon. But yeah, mostly I have these little Easter eggers and they have these cute little fluffy cheeks, as you can see. And then over here I have a, she's supposed to, supposed to be Americana. Um, she's kind of the bully of the pack. And then this one's a mix, so I'm not really sure what breeds it is exactly, but I think she's a Marin. Wine, wine adult, wine adult mix. She's gray and she lays like these really cool brownie green speckled eggs. I can't tell if she's an olive egg or not because they're more brown than green. Then I'm hoping those little guys will be olive eggers since they're a little darker, but they could just be Easter eggers as well, which I'm cool with. The Easter eggers are pretty friendly, but they don't really like humans all that much. So they don't really like when I hold them or anything. My other chickens must be laying, cause Duck, he's a buff Orpington, and he, well, I guess it's a sheep, but we call him a he. He's the most friendly. Here's the other Ancona chicken. They are super flighty, and they do not like humans at all. And the bully of the pack. So yeah, and then we just have these little wood stumps for them. And I put like one of their waters here and then they have a nice little chicken swing that they really like going on. And they have automatic feeders. I need to fill those up today. And they have automatic waters, but I've had problems with them burying them. So lately I've just been putting the actual waters on top of them. So that way it keeps it off the ground. Because if I put it on the ground, they like kick all the shavings or food or dirt into it. So then it just gets, I'm having to like, clean it constantly. So this really helps keep it clean and they seem to really like it. I typically have to fill up their waters once or twice a day, depending on how hot it is. Just because I have 28 chickens, so they go through it a lot. And they really like these stumps too. Oh, and then this one. I believe she's a bard rock. She should start laying here soon. All of my teenage ones should start laying within the within a couple of weeks, I think. And then these are this one's more of a baby. It's a silver no, it's a blue red laced wine dot. Wine dot. I can never say it right. They're younger. I just got them in October, or the end of October, so they probably won't start laying until April, May. So here's the rest of them. So lately they've been like charging at me. So I don't know what their deal is because they never did that before. I think they think they're each other's mate even though they're both males. So they try to protect each other. But they're still hilarious. We are building a pod for them so that way they'll have more room. Because right now I'm just filling up a kiddie pool every day. This is Penelope and that's Raisin because we thought Penelope was a girl. She's also a male. You can tell that they have two curled tail feathers in the back, like that. It means they're a guy. 
and I need to clean their pool. It's usually not this dirty, but it just rained this morning. But here's their little area. They have all this little area to run around and dig holes in the mud and find bugs. But we are building them a pond, so they'll have a way bigger area and I think they'll be way happier there too. And this is the outside of my coop. There's a ton of cardboard because I'm using it as a weed, a weed barrier. So I'm gonna be putting in a perennial garden around here. There it is. And I'll take you in the inside now. And our sign's usually hanging up, but it's been falling because it's been kind of windy lately. And then this area, it's kind of dirty right now, so apologies, but this is like our storage room. So I have old, old feeders here, some more storage, their fine shavings I use from Tractor Supply. And it's nice because it has two windows in here, so it's nice to ventilate it. And the door into the main part, and then I keep their food in here. They're kind of like running low, but their food's in here. And some scratch grain in here. Keep their cleaners up here. And then they get a view of my flowers. Okay, so here's the inside. And I've had an issue lately. These are all the freaking younger chicks. And they think the laying boxes are their beds. And they're definitely not. My poor buff in there laying is like, what the heck are you guys doing? Oh, and here's our Polish. He's so, ow. But buffs are like the most friendly chicken. They're described as the golden retrievers of the chicken world. And then more of those. Blue, red, lace, silver, white, and oak. Their coloring is so pretty. They want treats. Okay, and I'm gonna go through and clean the coop because it's so freaking gross right now. I'm just gonna show you guys a before. And then these are the automatic feeders and waterers, and they look disgusting right now because. This is where they roost at night, so it gets really gross. They surround me in here because they know I'll give them mealworms or like the fly grubs. They are ridiculous. So to clean the coop, I bring a tub in here, and then I'll just be scooping up all these dirty shavings, and then I'll lay down fresh ones. my buff Orpington and then this one's from one of my Easter eggers you can't see I'll try to take a better, better video but it's like speckled it's really cool okay so now I'm just gonna go through and spread these fresh shavings all over the floor and in their laying boxes and I have to clean out the coop around twice a week just with the amount of chickens I have sometimes more sometimes less it kind of just depends Sometimes I'll just come in here and spot clean, but I usually like to clean the whole thing out twice a week. And then I'll go through with like a deodorizing spray also. Um, it really helps because we're pretty mild here in Texas, so I can keep their windows in their coop. Okay, <laughs> so I can keep their windows in their coop open so that way it doesn't like smell in here. They actually do not smell that bad. If you keep your coop clean, I really don't have issues with that. So it's really nice. Now the ducks, they're another story. They do stink really bad. So if you're thinking about ducks, consider that. But chickens really aren't that bad. So I'll just be going through and filling up their feeder. And then I also add two scoops of this vitamins into both of their food things. And this is just 
layer palettes and then scratch grain mixed together. And then once this coats low, I'll put the flock maintainer and then I'll mix another um, layer palette with that. And I wanted to show you guys these. They're the fly grass. Um, I used to give them a lot of mealworms, so they were super expensive, like $30 a bag. And then I found out that mealworms really didn't have that good of protein slash calcium in them. And these ones have 36 to 42% calcium. I mean, not calcium, protein and 2 to 5% calcium in them. And they seem to like these a lot more. And I got these off of Amazon. And they're like, I don't know, 12 bucks for a pound. So it's actually pretty good. I'll show you guys. They literally go crazy. The big ones don't notice it. All the little babies are scoring the win. They're dumping all the food out, of course. Oh. Okay, so first we have my top pick, and it's this chunky gal. She's a buff Orpington. They are super kid friendly. Um, the only downfall is they're obsessed, they're food obsessed. So she'll follow me around all the time wanting food. And she's the first one to the door every single time. First one to like, eat the food almost every single time. Next we have the Easter egg ears. So that's these guys right here. They are a little flighty, but they lay really pretty eggs and they're overall sweet. Like I don't really have issues with them. And then we have the Americana, which is this guy right here. They do not, at least the one I have, does not like people at all. And it's kind of a bully, but I keep them around because their eggs are super cool. Um, and then we have this mix. I think she's a Marin mix. Um, she's pretty noisy. Then I have this light sex Sussex. Okay. I have this light. Sussex and she's pretty friendly because she was sick when I got her well I didn't know that but after I got her I found out she was sick so she kind of had been watched more than the other ones so she's really friendly oh say hi and then the bard rock at least I think she's a bard rock or a dominique I think she's a bard rock though she's super friendly as well and more of these like red color ones so I think like the what are you? I think this one's a is a red or like the cinnamon queens or the Rhode Island reds. They are not the friendliest, but they're just be very good egg layers and they'll lay dark brown eggs. My little plan in here. Um, the Ancona chickens are the black and white ones out there. The Anconas, um, they are super talkative. They like are my little screechers or screamers, but they keep me entertained. Um, when I had them outside, they would climb the trees all the time and scream up there. I'll insert a clip. I post it on my Instagram stories a lot. Um, they are not the best egg layers. I haven't got an egg from them since October, which I know they kind of slow down once the, the daylight um, shortens, the egg production goes down. So they kind of lay by daylight. So they haven't really laid, but I think they're funny, so I don't mind them. But they are smaller birds, so if you have a smaller area, they could be a good fit, but they are not the best dependable egg layers. These little guys, my blue red laced, they, so far, I mean, their personality changes as they get older. They are kind of scared. This whole group, actually. Well, the buffs are following me around everywhere. But they're kind of scared, but I love their coloring. They're not mean or anything, but they're supposed to be really good egg layers. I just, they're too young yet. The Polish one, he seems kind of scared as well. He's so funny looking. I think he might be a rooster. I'm not sure. Could be a hen, but I kind of have a feeling he might be a rooster. Just because they're two, when they're, the, when the Bantams or the Polishes, 
are young, you can't really sex them. So he might be a male. My Easter egg. -er. I think that covers the majority. I have a lot of mixes. Look at its cheeks. I have a lot of mixes because I ordered like brown egg layer mixes and colored egg layers, like the blues and the green mixes from hatcheries. So kind of have a variety. So I'm really excited to see what color eggs will start laying. And I'll sh like once they start laying more, I'll have to do another video showing like what breed lays what color. I think it'll be really fun. Michael Jackson, show me stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so my top three breeds uh, of chickens, if you're starting out, number one, I would do a Buff Orpington or a few. They're super friendly, but we also had a Buff Orpington rooster. And he was really mean. So I don't know if that's just my experience, but I've kind of heard the roosters can be really rude. But the hens are super sweet. They follow you around everywhere. And they are pretty talkative. But they're good egg layers. They lay like every day, every other day. Next one would be um, Easter Eggers or Olive Eggers. Um, the Americanas. I'm going to put them all in the same group. They lay really pretty eggs. I get eggs from them every other day. And they're good little foragers. And they're pretty quiet. They aren't really noisy. And then third, if you want a dependable egg layer, I would do the Rhode Island Red, even though they're not gonna be a little lap chicken. I feel like that could help add dependable eggs in there. And then lastly, I'll do a number four. I really like my light sus Sussex so far. She hasn't started laying yet, so I don't really know what her egg laying conditions will be. I think they are pretty good egg layers and they lay like the pinky brown that the buffs do. But she has a really sweet personality and she's always on like on the swings and jumping around and she doesn't mind if I hold her. So those would be my top picks. And I wanted to show you guys up close speckles on this one. It's really cool. This came from one of my Easter years. Focus. There we go. And here are the, some of the eggs I just collected. This is from, oh, focus. This is from that little gray one. And then I think, oh my gosh, sorry. I think that's from either an Easter egg or the Americana. And I want to show you guys, I think we're going to be extending um, their coop out and putting like a run through here because it's pretty shady. And I know they need more space. I do let them free range once my flowers are bigger, but right now they would just tear them all out of the ground. So they have to be in the coop. And another thing I wanna to touch on is why my chickens aren't free range all the time. We have pretty severe hawk and turkey buzzard pressure here and foxes and dogs. So mine have died a few of those ways so for now especially with them half of them being little it's just safer for them to be in there but um definitely this spring and summer i'll let them out but that's one of the problems so we have all that pressure around here too